Good morning. Welcome to 2000. Wait, how do we say this? Welcome to 2021 2022 school year. Already kind of iffy on some stuff, a little fears with more COVID coming in, but our classroom is clean. It is not ready to go because I'm still working on arrangement, but I'm super excited about this year because we are going to have a new group of students and a new group of assistant teachers and so much fun, just so much fun. I can't even tell you how excited I am. So real quick, um, school supplies, yeah, crayons, scissors, and glue sticks. We don't really need all those other things. Anything else we take care of, the school or I provide. I'm really excited about the possibilities for the academic side of our classroom. You know, we already work really hard on the social side and the speech and just all of those things that help us function in society. But reading and being able to do simple addition, like this candy bar is 50 cents, this other candy bar is 50 cents, 50 plus 50 is a dollar. Do I have enough money to buy two candy bars? Those are functional skills. And um, I want to go to Wendy's. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, our kids are gonna know the sign. They know this sign is Wendy's, this sign is McDonald's. But what if they see it written out or typed out? Mm, maybe not. So we're really gonna be working on um, environmental print, learning safety signs and what those safety signs mean. E e exit sign, enter sign, do not cross. I'm trying to think of all the signs that we'll be learning. We will have a, a reading program that does a lot of sight words and builds on those. Y'all, I can't even tell you how excited. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to introduce myself. With a whole new group of students, you don't know anything about me. So I'm Miss Waymeyer. This is my sixth year at Ridge Road in the STAR class. I love it. If my principal came to me tomorrow and said, hey, Ms. Waymire, we need you to move across the hall to second grade. I, I can't teach second grade. I don't know how to do that. This is my calling. This is where I want to be. I love my students. Some of them are hard, but I love them because as hard as they can be, they're equally sweet. And They've just loved on, oh, I'll cry. They've loved on me on bad days. Like student, a specific student who has just really been hard. I was having a rough day and he just came and stared at me like, are you okay? And just something about his presence was reassuring to me that he saw there was something going on and he was there. Now, did he really understand the concept of this way, I'm here for you. Hey, I want to make you feel better. I don't know. But I'm, let's see, we are assuming the positive this year in our school with, with everything. I'm assuming the positive. He saw I was in need, and he came over to comfort me the best way he knew how. How, how do you not love these kids? So, I've been teaching for, this is my sixth, this is my eighth year to teach. I raised my kids and then decided to go to school to be a teacher, but every coach teaches social studies. I'm not good at math. I'm not good at high school math. Oh, and I thought I wanted to teach high school. I'm not good at high school math. Not good at the English high level. I'm just not good at any. Okay. Reframe this because this is something that we all need to work on. It's not that I'm not good at it. I just haven't put the effort into learning it. I could be good at it if I, yes, I could be good at it if I worked at it. Because I do believe that anything we work at, we can conquer. Would I be a college math professor? No. But could I help some kids with their homework? Yes. So, back to my story. Um, so I said I was a substitute teacher and my substitute job got canceled, but I was already at the school when it got canceled. And so they asked me if I would teach in the special ed resource classroom. Oh, 
oh, special ed, that's not for me. I don't, no, okay, I'll do it because, you know, it's half a day. I can do anything for half a day. Fell in love. Walked down the hall, leaving after my half day, saw the self-contained star teacher that I knew and told her I needed to substitute for her because I felt like I was being called to special ed. So I did because she said, oh, next week I need someone. Did that, fell in love with SPED. I'm gonna be a resource teacher because if you can't read by the time you leave elementary school, you're lost because everything after that is reading. So that's, I'm gonna be a resource teacher, elementary school, because that's what I want to do. Go into special ed, they said. There are jobs all over, you can get a job, no problem. Not in Pulaski County, because our big school districts can pull people who have experience, or at least at that time. So I sent my college professor this email that said, hmm, go into SPED, you can always get a job. Can't find a job. Maybe two days later, she called to say, hey, you need to call this lady in Stuttgart because they need a special ed teacher in a self-contained classroom at a middle school. Okay, I'm going to do it because when you're desperate, you have to go on job interviews. And I did. I sat with her and the principal, the special ed director and the principal, and they were telling me all these things and how do you feel about this and how do you feel about that? Well, you know, I'm not crazy about that, but it's part of the job and you, you do it. So then it was, this is the day you start. Mm, I can't do that because my daughter's getting married on Saturday. I can't be here on Thursday and Friday. Is that going to be a deal breaker? Kind of like, is that going to be a deal breaker? Oh, no, we'll take care of it. No problem. So I do my first two years in Stuttgart, driving back and forth from North Little Rock to a middle school, self-contained classroom. It was so hard because I was also in the process of getting my master's degree in special ed. But I made it and I learned so much. And then this job in North Little Rock came up and I interviewed. And then I had some other interviews because I really wanted to be back here and had a really bad interview where they asked me questions I didn't know. I'm a two-year teacher in special ed, and I don't know all of the different initials, the, the letter thingies. I just didn't know, and I, I cried all the way home because I felt stupid. What am I thinking? I'm just going to stay in Stuttgart because I'm in it. I'm in the groove. They like me. So when North Rock called me at 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, I said, mm, I'm going to stay in Stuttgart. When I told my husband, his eyes got big and he said, you said what? I said, yeah, I just, I, I just feel like that's where I'm supposed to be. Did not sleep that night. Called the number from the phone call I'd gotten the night before thinking I'm calling an office and gonna leave a message. Mm -hmm. It was the coordinator's cell phone. I called her at nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. And I said, I didn't sleep last night. I think I made the wrong decision. If the job is still available, I, I would like to be considered again. Well, the job is already gone. But we can hire you for a high school job. Oh, oh she called the director and called me back. Meanwhile, I'm on pins and needles thinking, oh, what have I done? We have a high school job open. We're going to hire you in there. So it takes some time to get all the paperwork done maybe two, three weeks, I go to sign the papers thinking I'm going to be a high school special ed teacher, which is scary, but I would be home. I would drive 10 minutes to work instead of an hour and 15 minutes. I came out from signing my contract to a message on my phone saying, the teacher in that classroom got a job closer to home, so we want you in that classroom. So that just settled it. This is where I'm supposed to be. God wouldn't let me. I, I am a, a modern day Jonah. I tried to stay in Stuttgart and he said, no, you're going to be in this classroom at Ridge Road Elementary. So here I am six years, six years later in the same classroom, loving 
my job most days. Now, I love my job every day. I don't always like my job. But you know what job is not like that. So anyway, all of that to say, I'm really looking forward to Monday and meeting all of you. Um, I'll be out front in, of the school the first day or two to, wel to welcome your, your children and hopefully meet you. I know we've got some bus riders and that's fine. We'll figure out a way to meet, but I'm looking forward to it. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys on Monday.